welcome to my channel. My friends call me Jelly. I've used the ketogenic journey to lose 211 pounds. My lowest was 158.8. My body does not like staying there. I have been struggling for multiple reasons to get back to it. So this is day three of jump into July challenge for weight loss by loving it on keto go check them out i have joined their challenge they also when they put a comment yesterday giving me permission to show y'all the protocol and stuff i've been sending y'all to their page and getting y'all to click on their links to go see it so i'm going to show it later on um on here so you can see what i'm doing basically the list is kind of like a do the do's and don'ts list follow dr eric westman a lot not a hundred percent but if you know his you kind of know the do's and don't part um and then there's a modifying uh modified protein fast sparing protein fast basically you're eating a lot of protein 30 mats fat 10 mats carbs on those days which is every other day you have to use the little calculator thing um you can get to it through their website to tell you your protein and calories so that being said let me go ahead and show you yesterday's macros my sleep my fitbits and um uh my weigh-in let's go ahead and do a weigh-in i knew i knew what this number was going to be close to but i didn't know this close okay so i got 13,204 steps in seven hours and 13 minutes of sleep 174.0 that is 4.8 pounds down from yesterday my macros was 126 protein 28 fat 772 calories 9 total carbs 3 net carbs that was a great modified protein sparing day I know I'm saying it wrong it was a fast four pounds and something because I don't remember the point right now so let me look at the point hold on that is 4.8 pounds down 4.8 pounds down in one night you always ask me how do you know you didn't just gain fat how do you know it was what a weight because I went up 10 15 pounds in two days three days um I didn't eat enough calories to actually do that I didn't eat nothing to actually do that and I worked my butt off um, so that means in the last three days, I have gone down 10.8 pounds. I wish the day I told you I was 184 point something, I wish I had actually screenshotted it, saved it, everything, put it on my little app, but I was so upset with tears. I didn't want to see it on the app because that was three days ago, three days ago. And today I'm 174. That's water weight, people. And I still have water weight on me. So this week will be all rushing water weight off me. And then after that, that's what we'll just consider no more water weight. We're going to give it a good seven days to get it all off. From all the net carbs, from the having a little bit of rice, having that little bit of biscuit that raised me even higher in net carb. I'm still very low carb, but it doesn't matter. Still got the water weight from it. We are heading out to Costco this morning. It is... Almost 11, having my first collagen coffee of the morning. I ended up only having one yesterday because I tried Folgers again. Folgers is cheap. It's affordable. Tastes good-ish. Um, but I forgot. When I drink Folgers, I swear I'm having an allergic reaction. Horrible heart palpitations, can't breathe, my chest hurts. I feel like I'm going to scream like I do with some of my allergic reactions. So... 14 years ago, I was drinking Folgers like crazy for years, and I always had the, that feeling after drinking it. It was horrible, and I didn't put two and two back together then because I didn't associate anything with food, and even got put on heart meds because I couldn't figure out what was wrong with my heart. And then I stopped drinking Folgers a couple years ago when I switched to keto and started drinking Starbucks. And then when I had Folgers yesterday, all that horribleness came back. I was like, oh no, I don't want to go back on my meds because I thought I was having a heart condition again, which, you know, it wasn't from the Folgers that gave me the heart condition because they actually ran tests and found it in the test. 
but it felt like that heart condition was back. And as soon as I stopped, like a couple hours later, it was gone. Perfectly fine. And I remember every time I drank Folgers, I felt like I was having an allergic reaction. So, not going to touch Folgers anymore. I'm going to stick to my expensive Starbucks, which is on sale at Costco's today. That's why we're driving all the way up there on a Saturday before 4th of July because it's $5 off a bag. Which means I'm probably going to buy multiple bags, at least three, four, five months worth because that's how I roll. I buy the beans whole. They last that long. Don't worry. They leave them in their warehouses that long too. On um, save me some money. That's how I, that's how I buy my coffees. That's how I buy my collagen. That's how I buy my keto chow. I pay full price for zip. Zada, nada, never. If it ain't on sale, I don't buy it. It's how I can't afford it. People see, oh, how are you having the boar's head ham? Well, I buy it when it's on sale or I buy the big chunk for $7.99 a pound versus $11.99 a pound when they cut it. I'm the sell queen. I'm just suck at coupons. I want to learn to be a coupon queen though. I'm trying that with like Walgreens and CVS and Dollar General. I'm trying to get on the bandwagon with their stuff. So I'm going to step back, show you my little outfit for the day before I get going. And I am starving. I am starving and it's a regular day of eating. I should be able to eat two to three meals on keto. I'm following the do's and don'ts list, but I don't have time and I'm not eating fast food. So I know I should have did it instead of talking to y'all, but I'm just waiting for him to get out of the bathroom and get dressed. So I don't know when that would be done. But this is my cute, my little outfit for today. I'm not feeling all swollen. So I'm in a good mood. I think I'm looking kind of cute. Going to do some shopping. It is very beautiful outside right now. I could totally go down with some bacon and eggs and sit out here and eat. But we have things we need to do. I need a tie in the back better. It's got this weird tie thingy back here. And it's kind of hard for me to tie it. And if I ask him to do it, he'll tie it too tight. Yeah, I'm going to have to tie it a little. But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. And I found bacon at Aldi's that's low sodium. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay. So I am going to fix this real fast. So who's all doing the challenge? Because yesterday I got a lot of yay for jumping on board of this challenge. So I know a lot of y'all are doing it. I saw it in the comments. Who else is doing it? Who else wants to do it? It's only day three. So you start on day four. It's still, you know, you can go into August or you can um, just do that amount. Why not? Because it'll clean your system out. That's for sure. Like it did make me go to, the, like it made me pee to death. So I'll take any water weight out, especially on that modified protein day. Um, I had 800 carbs, I think. You'll see. You, you saw it in the macros. I, I didn't pay any attention. So I'm also writing all my macros on a monthly board and weigh-ins on the monthly board so we can go over it weekly. I'm going to have a weekly total on it all and then show the whole month afterwards. I'm working on that. All I can think about is bacon right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm the girl who never could give up bacon. That's one reason I love keto. I can have my bacon. And I don't have it. Well, I was having it every day. But it is what makes me happy. It doesn't raise my blood pressure. It doesn't make me sick. It doesn't clog my arteries. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't eat the one with sugar. I always go with the low sodium because they put that nasty table salt in it. And I prefer Himalayan salt. Buy me some Himalayan salt of bacon, I'll be the happiest person in the world. I add Himalayan salt to all my bacon when it's raw. Stick it in the oven and cook it. That's why I like low sodium. Um, I don't like turkey bacon because they always, always go and put, or nitrate-free bacon, they always put celery powder in it. Celery powder messes with my stomach, and I don't like the taste of it on meat. It's fine in soups and stuff, but in meat, not my thing. I have not found a nitrate-free anywhere freaking bacon or any meat that doesn't say celery powder. What's up with that? I don't need you to put celery powder. Just because you didn't put all that horrible salts in it, you don't need to add celery powder. I'll be fine putting my own salt on it. Like, seriously, I can even put monk fruit to make it a little sweet. I can make some cinnamon on it. I could do all kinds of stuff, but I don't need your celery powder. <laughs> Like, I can't find any that. My mom loves it, though. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people love it. I'm just not one of those people. Hopefully, he's ready to go soon. I hear him on the phone with T-Mobile. He's been arguing with T-Mobile for 
the whole time he's been here because they cannot get it right. If I kind of warned him. Nothing. There's no phone service over here. It's a crap. When whatever company you go with, something doesn't come in the shard at all. So I don't think it's going to be fixed. Plus they're doing another little issue. Like, you know, when you pay off your phone because he paid it off in cash, like the day he got it and you're supposed to get your phone unlocked. That way you can jump and roam whatever services you want. Um, and he can't get them to do it because he bought it through Samsung and Samsung is saying T-Mobile has to unlock it. T-Mobile says Samsung has to unlock it. They are bouncing him back and forth like a ping pong for over two months now. So, cause he can't even, like I can turn my phone on and pick even AT&T's network, right? This very minute, if I want to, if I think it's stronger than mine, I can do that even though I'm Verizon. He can't because his phone's locked. They won't let him. Even though once we leave here, he's got the best, best in the world, like 100 upload speed, 300 and something download speed. I tether my phone to his when we leave here so I can have better internet and stuff where we're out because <laughs> Verizon, you're sucking right now. I mean, you're not even getting 15 around here. Not even when I go to town and I have 5G network. It really sucks. So, finished complaining about the cell phone this morning. Can't find honey. He's out here somewhere. He came crying to me last night. Finally hungry. He ate like four times yesterday. Every time he wanted food, all I had to do is scream honey. And he came running and everyone was astonished because he hasn't been able to run in forever. And that's one reason he is like not letting anyone near him. He is running everywhere and he's chasing tell. The cats are in heat again and he's chasing them, which is not a good thing, but I can't stop him. And he's very hyper right now. His coat is coming back so beautiful. Um, so he is just all over the place. He'll let me hold him. Uh, he gets mad at my daughter because she doesn't understand his ways. No one does but me. When he meows a certain way and turns his head a certain way, he wants food. If he rolls onto his back and meows up at you with his paws up, he wants you to pick him up. If he just starts rolling, he wants you to pet him from head to toe as he rolls and flips around. And then he'll look at you when he's ready for you to stop. If you don't stop, you're getting scratched. Like, I try to teach her his little signals. He's made all these up himself since he was a baby with me. And uh, she, she still can't get them down. So she gets herself scratched a lot or hissed at. And it upsets her because that was supposed to be her cat. But me and him spent a lot of time together. And I taught him how to talk to me. Because I would always tell him, I don't know what you want, baby. I tried food. I tried this. And I didn't know. So I was like, okay, let's do this when you want this. And you can. It does, it's not crazy. You really can train a cat. Have you ever watched America's Got Talent? Have you seen those cats, those pigs, those so every animal, like they're training all these different animals. You can train any of them. I didn't even have to use food. I just talked to him and used cuddling and putting him underneath my chin as a reward. He likes his little head underneath your chin. It's what mommy cats do. That's what I did to my daughter as a baby too. So, um, he, he just loves it and he's so cute. I know, totally not keto. keto. So if you're new to my channel, I talk about everything. I talk about my cats. I talk about my family. Sometimes you'll see my family. You see what I eat, what I do. Um, like yesterday's video with us going to the farm and to the lake, um, pond little walking area. I ain't going back there because, uh, Cotton mouths are deadly and not going to get killed by a snake. Um, so, so that's not my thing. Going to stay far away from there. But, um, so you see all that. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to follow along in my daily life or my weight loss journey, if you want some tips and tricks along the way, hit subscribe, like, ring the bell. And if you are a subscriber and you like what you see, can you share me? Give me a thumbs up. So, I'm trying to learn to say that. I am still so uncomfortable saying that stuff. I feel like I'm begging. Um, but I do take tons of hours every day to make these videos. And I'm lucky if I clear $100 from YouTube after a whole entire month of work. Which I am not complaining. I am going to continue to do it no matter what. I do want to make a career out of this. But if I can't, it's okay. I still want to help people. I still want to show them that... It can be a struggle, but it's worth it. Or sometimes it's a piece of cake. Like parts of my journey was like melting butter. It was so fast. The first 120 pounds 
melted butter. Then each part became different struggles. The last 20 is the nightmare. I never believed it when people said, the last 20 is a nightmare. Yeah, I was like, sure it is. <laughs> oh no, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare, that last 20. You, it doesn't matter how much you're working out to add to that. It does, mm -mm. It's still a nightmare. Still can't get there yet. No. <laughs> but that is what this channel is about. I show you a little bit of everything. I know it says fat to keto because, you know, I was fat, went keto, and getting skinnier. But, um, you know, everything affects your weight loss, your mood, your sleep. Today is a good mood for me. Um, no headache, no nothing, waking up, feeling so much better after yesterday's protein fast thing. Um, gave me a lot more clarity, made my sinuses better. So everything affects it your allergies, the medicine you're taking, your sleep, the fighting with your husband or wife or loving each other and having a great time together, your kids stressing you out, your grandkids coming and then you have to say goodbye to them. Everything triggers your hormones in your body in a different way. So it can help or it can hinder. I'm learning how to um, do keto in a house that actually has non-keto food because only the first year did I have non-keto food in the house, but it wasn't candies and stuff. It was just like fruits I didn't like. But now that Dino lives here, there are different things in the house that I can't have. And he's always like, do you want some? No, honey, I can't. Like yesterday, you want some berries? No, honey, I can't have the berries. You want keto ice cream? No, honey, I can't have the keto ice cream. Do you want that? No, no, honey. He's like, but you can have this on keto. Yes, but not this month. That's not what I'm doing this month. This month's changed. So I can't get mad at him because I went from very high net carbs and, and, and high calories to doing this July challenge that's making me feel so much better already. I mean, seriously, to um, dropping everything back down back on a hardcore course but this this is going to be 90% of my life I think I think only a couple of days a month while I do net carbs I think even when I get to my goal weight this is gonna be it because it makes me feel good mentally physically and my tummy so much better it's so much better so I'm wrapping this up right now. I'm going to go drag him out because we need to get the heck out of here. And I've been waiting for him. And he's taking too long. And I rattled for 15 minutes. Yeah, you know, I rattled. It is 6 o'clock. We are having dinner. My first real meal of the day other than a few snacks. I'll show you in a minute. This one is Dino. They're both perfectly keto friendly. 100% keto salad. Mine is just weighed out more than his. To make sure I stay under Dr. Eric Westman's little meal plans, I juice and don't for this challenge. Two ounces of cheese. I got to put some more steak on here because it's only four ounces of steak and I calculated for more. I weighed out everything. The little, I know this isn't on Dr. Eric Westman, but I only used um, 12 grams of carrots. So yeah, I'm starving. He's hungry. I'm going to have water and we're going to eat. Hey, I just wanted to show my new design of my porch, at least half the porch, because the worked out area is a mess right now, and the table is not put together yet. I bought a new cover for it, but yeah, this is all flipped from the storms. Yeah, this, whoa, the storm got all of them. But yeah, I've had these a few years. I love those things, and then I add stuff to it every year. But this is the pretty little setup. I gave my mom the furniture I had on the porch. She gave me hers. I think this fits better. This, so this is the table. But I bought a tablecloth to actually fit in here. It'll match perfectly. And this is the junk area of the workout. Let me show you my snacks I had for lunch. I had two packs of these bad boys. I was starving, and this is okay on Dr. Eric Westman, and since it's a keto regular day, I guess that means I can have it. It should be fine. Um, I'm having my last collagen coffee, so I've only had two today. I also, what did I buy today? So, this is our little 
healthy drawer, mushrooms, spinach, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, some squash. We have a bunch of boneless, skinless chicken breasts in here. I have some pork loin in here. I did get some zedias to try. Um, all my Kerrygold butter, some sour creams, and of course, you know, all my eggs. Then I have a little drawer of different kind of healthy meats and stuff and hot dogs for my kids, some bacon to try. And of course, you know, all my cheeses. So I'm ready. I'm ready for the challenge. I'm kind of going crazy with some fireworks. I mean, Tell them how much this was. Look. Also, this whole bag right here. Look, that was a dollar. You can't go yeah. wrong with a dollar. A piece, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, bag, 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 bag. And then I went crazy with my Starbucks. Yep, I sure did. What do you got? Wait, wait. Oh, this is called Unicorn Poop. I think it's great. Uh, it says, and I quote, unicorn magically poops when fuse is lit. So we're going to go do this? Uh, yeah, wait, right now? If you want yes. to. <gasps> okay. Let's go <laughs> make the unicorn poop. Yeah. Open? Yeah. Yeah, like this. Yeah. I don't know. Stand. Come down, Haley. What? Yeah. How's it gonna stand? I thought the little poop was supposed to come out of the unicorn. Yeah, but you gotta stand them. So yeah, but you gotta take it out. Let me. No. No. no, no, no. You don't he take said he was no. To take it there out. should be a stand. Isn't yeah. there a stand? What does yeah. it say? It's a little stand. The unicorn magically poops and fuses lit. That's all it says. Yes. Yeah. There's a little. Stand. Look, you have fingers in the stand. You flip those oh. down, like don't feet. Too much. Yeah. There you Give go. Give it to Dino. Yeah, this, don't I don't wanna, break it. Uh, there, and face it away from the car. Oh, all right. Somebody's letting it. Not me. It. Go over there and do it. Yeah, go over there. Too. Away from us. Away from us. And the car. Well, I'm not a bad guy, lady. What's because you're the one who no, bought no, no, this no, no, thing. No, Dino, please get away. She, he is. Give him a second. He's me out. Baby, not that way. That way. No, no, don't. Baby. Put no, towards the car. Oh, my God. Here. No. No. You sure the fuse is long? No. The fuse is on this side. You don't you like children go. light stuff. Go. Go in there. Oh, my God. Baby, you're, you know, I'm you're to giving her a heart attack. All right, everyone stop for a minute. Run, run. We're on the wrong side. How are we going to see the poop? You got to go right here. here. Oh, that. Oh, there it is over here. Over here, you see um, it. That's black poop. <laughs> He's asking out. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> he lost his butt. <laughs> His butt <laughs> shut out. How much was that? Wait, you're to put two water on it two dollars. That's a gin. <laughs> Poor unicorn. He lost his ass. You want to lay a spell? There you go. Let's keep holding it till it goes. This is Nate, so she can't hurt herself. Hey. Baby, you might have to get closer to it. I'm touching it. Um. I think that one has some kind of defect. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Is it working? N no. no. Um. All right. Step back. Uh, let Dino try. Oh, I think that's she, pathetic. After she heat heat it up a lighter, where it can blow in my face, but it's alright. Yeah, I don't want it blowing in her face. Oh, the wrapper this way. Come on. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on. There he goes. Come on. Shh. Oh, Big flaming bag A dog poop. Hey. Don't say the S word. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> is this supposed to be magic colored? <laughs> you got to wait till the end part when it farts. It's going to fart? Yeah. That sounds lovely. No, no, no. It's very troubling. Yeah, keep on watching them now. Okay, watch Whatever it. Whatever you call it. Okay, watch the smoke at the end now. This is great. Quality, quality time. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at that. It's still going. <laughs> so exciting. I think you're supposed to light the entire bag at once. But no, yeah. but it's funner. Yeah, it's funner. It actually lasts as longer if you do. <laughs> and it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's actually lasts longer. Oh my longer. gosh, look how long it is. Baby. Oh, it's Look, green. Wow. I didn't see nothing magic. green at the end. <laughs> I told you, green at the end. We're on our way back to Walmart because she has discovered yeah. that she likes these silly little worm snake thingies. And she wants us to go buy her a whole bunch more because she's having fun playing with them. And 
things I cannot have, we're also going to go get. So. Ario. Hey. Oh. I mean, um, um, buffalo. It's the blue, red, white one. <laughs> and they have little explosion dolls in them. They have pop rocks inside them. Oh, yeah, that one. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not eating them because I joined the challenge because originally I was going to have stuff like that. I was going to have the s'mores with them and everything for 4th of July. But I joined the challenge, which means I'm not allowed any of it. I can just smell it from a distance. Well, I might have had three. Yes, y'all, yeah, So, I am being good and I won't be eating any of them. Do not worry, not even the keto ice cream we picked up today for my mom and it. for them. I'm taking this challenge extremely seriously. And tomorrow is carnivore day for 4th of July. So I'm going to be having hamburgers, cheese, sausage, um, my college and coffee, all that yummy stuff. Now when I do carnivore day, I normally do protein drinks. I don't know if it's allowed or not. Um, so we'll see if I do a protein drink or not because I was planning on doing keto child ice cream. Yeah, but he paid a lot of money for this one versus the cheap one from. Uh, the one for a dollar is just as good. I think you were ripped off. You know this would be better at night. <laughs> Jesus, baby! Okay, so we bought a bunch more of those little snakes. And might have went to the shoe show and bought my kid like $170 of shoes. She's got clothes, shoes, all kind of crap today. Like, she so, is having so a blast back right there. Now, let's go find those fireworks that we are hearing. You can't really see because the window. But we are sitting here checking out some faraway fireworks. It's a gated community over there, but we could come over here and watch it. Is that lightning too? No. That's like a combination. I'm so scared he's gonna hurt himself. So. Yeah. Get back. Is this doing the same thing as the dollar one? Unless he's got another dollar one. I think he's got another dollar one. Uh-oh. This is the horror movie happening. Last one. No! That would turn sideways. I did Wait for it to finish. Are you sure? I'm gonna need to get a bucket of water to drop these in. Yeah. Is that the three amigos or the dollar one? Dollar one. Okay. Three amigos gonna be on the road. Yeah, better be. Okay. Please don't get burned. This is like my worst nightmare. Fireworks. Get back. That's a good one. 
over here. Yeah. No, I said don't bring the fireworks. I don't know. I don't know how he's seeing. He needs a flashlight, but he wouldn't let me get him one. <laughs> he's just in his All I see is right. darkness. Hello, darkness, my it's old friend. <laughs> Wait, are you bringing sparklers or what? I'm confused. What's he doing? Oh, okay. I don't, I can't hold them right now. I'll hold them. Okay. We're in the dark. She don't want a sparkler though. I can't. No, her wrist hurts. No, no, I'm dying. Here, you hold this. Okay, hold on, let me, let me you move my clothes. Me, I, I had so much sugar and you gave me a coffee and what is that thing? That's not a sparkler, that's a demon. <laughs> I don't think these things gonna work. I think we should have bought that thing. Maybe happen? we need a candle. There it is. There oh. it is. That's how it does, Ian. What kind of sparkler is this? A good one. Um, what are you doing? I'm drawing. You're getting it everywhere. Yeah, that's how you play with sparklers. Oh my goodness. Have you never played with a sparkler? Do you want to try one here? No. I think that one was a dud. There's still more left. There is more, but it's not doing anything. Is that it? It just goes that far? We got we can't leave them in the driveway. I gotta figure out where to stick them. Oh, these, uh, Jeanette. See how much smoke right there? Look. Hmm? You can see the smoke even without that. I'm taking it. Hey. What? Let like you a new one. She's shaky. She had too much caffeine. The more you shake, the cooler it looks. Have you eaten real food today? Don't eat it at mama. She's like, Yeah, the food you gave me. What food did I give you? Uh, a salad and a Oh, yeah, I forgot. Now this one's burning lower. I won't I won't want me to go off this. Okay, okay, so you want to see.